Right, morning guys and girls. Just going to start with this um, fixed range pull on this um, local range we've got here. Before I add all other levels, just wanted to show you how perfectly that local point of control acted as support. Um, we zoom in a bit, so support the resistance on the VWAP. Um, let's see where we go from here. Just uh, maybe to keep in the back of your mind is our CME gap is that blue line there that's 37790 so we're slightly below so that might give a bit of extra fuel for the bulls 377 now it's around there yeah, around their local value area high. let's see where how the day unfolds I'm just going to start adding the daily levels okay so here's the daily levels or the previous day levels remember I'm putting them in green because I'm keeping Fridays levels in as well in the original blue so you can just pause and record those levels I'll add the other levels now right before we add more levels I just want to add those um, daily levels from Friday and um, see what reaction was and we had from there so the daily previous day point of control that was now um, Friday it's just forming a confluence there with the VWAP at the moment previous day value area low uh, that was a really good that's the only level that really stopped it this morning and so it found resist uh, support there previous day value area high uh, confluence with the previous day low and that's where um, last night there was a quite a good reaction so it's quite important to keep these levels because we, s we had better reaction off these levels uh, previous day equilibrium not really uh, daily open uh, the daily open was in confluence with that previous day value area low uh, no that was yesterday that area was not formed yet so it was only the daily open that was that support there uh, and the previous day low and the previous day high normally not that important levels okay I'm just gonna add some other levels right before I go on to the other levels I nearly forgot about the weekly, we're in a new week now um, you can just record these levels, so the top one is previous week value area high and the bottom one is weekly open and the rest is quite obvious, alright so I'm starting and stopping a bit today I just want to take you through all these um, different phases um, there's a single print that was um, filled with that drop down and you can also see that orange line was a TPO naked point of control but that naked point of control is now tapped so we can remove that and that single print so you can understand there was a magnet that that pulled us down here and maybe we took out those um, maybe there were some stop losses there for the people that longed and uh, that gave some liquidity to the market but here we have another problem you see this huge um, single print that was formed here and that in confluence with the view is going to be serious resistance there remember I said earlier you know we want to see what's going to be the strongest um, the VWAP or the daily level okay this TPO the naked point of control is still here and there's a new one maybe you must just record that right as I'm going through my templates more and more is becoming clear so here we can see what happened here that naked daily point of control was tapped so the, that, that was our turning point so the levels have been very well respected so I can clear that one out I'm just looking at my other chart here that 36100 is still there uh, I don't know why I've got two of those oh, I can delete the one um, and then that daily naked daily point of control is also tapped we can remove that one and there's no new naked daily point of controls now the naked session point of controls so we see there was another there was a confluence there was also a naked session point of control there so that was why we turned there last night um, that naked session point of control has been tapped that one has been tapped and that one has been tapped so that one is still there 
um, and there's no new session point of controls. You can see here's three naked session point of controls. So we need to watch this 36100 area. Alright, moving on. Okay, just one more thing. This um, uh, These trend lines are quite important. So I've had this trend line on my chart for a few days now. You see how well it's been respected there. There was a fake out there, obviously a big fake out and another fake out. And now we've broken through it, like uh, we retested it. And yeah, so there's a lot of resistance up there now. Well, three. There's three levels and the previous weak point of control all in that little area there. So I suspect if we break that, we might close the single print quite quickly. And then that'll be our next resistance. Okay, and then while we, uh, let me just hide that trend line and then I want to show you that um, modified shift pitchfork. So I used those pivots there, there and there. So none of the rest was really well respected. But look at that line there, how well that's respected. That might also just be seen as a trend line. Um, just keep it in the back of your mind. I'm going to remove that and we continue. Okay, and then zooming out again on the 4 hour. So I've got this trend line here that's been respected so far and we've got that trend line also coming up now so I'm going to zoom in a bit so that you can see these trend lines I'm going to go down to the 30 minute where we were just now uh, see that trend line is coming in there so we might have some confluence there and this is the trend line running up here so if we drop down again to here like I said that already there's three naked point of controls in confluence with that trend line so we've got some serious support here support here and resistance there I also wanted to show that uh, view, uh, um, anchored VWAP let me just zoom out so you can see where it is from it's from that high there on the 13th of January at 44,000 and look how well it's been respected here as well there's a touch there's a touch with in confluence with that naked session point of control maybe that trend line some serious resistance here so interesting day or two coming up or lying ahead of us right um so before i add the daily level some then the um chart just gets too overcrowded i'll want to remove the um the channel um, but i'll be conscious of this channel that um that closing the single prints then we're back into the channel so I'll remove that for the time being and where's the support and resistance so that trend line there I'll just also be conscious about when we approach those levels and I'll switch them on and off as um, as necessary so the my plan for the day obviously we've got this um, zone here if we clear this I think we're gonna we'll probably close the single prints and I don't I don't anticipate us to stop there. I think that'll be the level that um, that range above value area low and our local value area high. Um, maybe I must make that a bit bigger. That area there will be the target area, and after that, this naked session point point of control in confluence with this um, anchored VWAP and that range above point of control. Once we clear that range above point of control, I think we into that smaller range up there. And then obviously this will be the support at the bottom of my anticipated range for today. So yeah, that's how I'll trade it, um, or uh, look for trades, and then just switch on the daily levels. I won't switch everything on. I'll switch them as we approach a level. I'll see. See, there's quite a congested area there, which so we 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 quite accurate about our anticipation there, and uh, not much happening around the rest of the area. It's just spread out here. But that area there is, is probably um, going to be quite a serious resistance. Right, that's it for the day. I'll catch you again tomorrow. Um, keep watching the charts.